people's idea of what happens when you read a book, uh, write a book is that you get all these ideas, you learn a lot, and then you put them out there. Instead, what happens is you take a shot in the dark, you get a reaction to your book, and then you start learning. Mm -hmm. And so I've done a lot of learning since the book has come out, given the hostile reaction that I've gotten and when I've gone to campuses and so on. And I think you know, the turn to identity politics is absolutely crucial to understanding the phenomena that uh, all of us have been talking about. And that's because if you see your politics as an extension of your intimate self-definition, then any attack on your ideas is interpreted as an attack on yourself. This is the key thing, and I wish I had put that front and center in the book rather than burying what I now take to be the lead. That um, if, uh, if you come to college or you're just raised watching the news or whatever and uh, you begin thinking about politics by trying to understand the world out there and then once you understand the world and the forces out there you move closer to home and see you know what's going on nearby to you and uh, concerning things that interest you in order to understand how to be effective but if on the uh, uh, and that's certainly when I was in college in the 70s, that's pretty much what happened. We had to have views on everything. We had to explain world history. We had to make sense of communism and socialism and everything. Uh, but if you start from the other side, from inside out, and you begin with this intimate struggle for defining just who you are and everything's changing every day and your identity is this little homunculus inside that needs to be fed and watered, um, <laughs> then... Uh, you actually, that's shift, if that is shifting all the time, your politics are going to feel very fragile. And any challenge to your politics is going to feel like a threat to you. So, so w what we've seen, I think, is, is the, the death of passionate but disinterested political commitment. That is that you are committed to something passionately because you believe in the justice of a cause it having perhaps nothing to do with you. It may have everything to do with you. It may be possible, right? But the whole model of what it is to become political has changed. And that is not just a question of what's happened in our universities or our schools. It's a turn within over the past 30 years in our entire culture. 